Hi, I'm U.S. Senator Rob Portman. I want to thank Eli and Herbert for the invitation to join you tonight. Wish I could be there with you, but the U.S. Senate's in session and I'm voting here in Washington. I appreciate the good work the Institute's doing to make America stronger and more secure in an unpredictable world. It's when America is strong and when we stand unequivocally for freedom and justice and the right of all people to choose their own destiny, when we don't back down in the face of threats and intimidation, that we see a world that's more stable, less dangerous, and more free. More wars, more conflicts, more threats to our security arise not from American strength, but from American weakness. We find peace through strength, as Ronald Reagan once famously said. Unfortunately, we're seeing today in Eastern Europe, Crimea, South China Sea, in Syria and Iraq and North Africa, uh, more of that leading from behind. Wherever we look, violence and instability seem to be on the rise. Our enemies don't fear us as much and our allies don't trust us as much. It doesn't have to be that way. With your help, we can change that. We need to rebuild our military. We need to make the world safer, more free, and more prosperous by restoring America's leadership role around the world. I want to congratulate my fellow Ohioan, Congressman Jim Jordan, on receiving tonight's Legislative Hero Award. Jim is a fighter. After all, he's a former champion wrestler. Don't mess with him. And Jim is still fighting today on behalf of his constituents and on behalf of the conservative principles we all hold dear. And Jim, you're in some pretty distinguished company tonight. I also want to congratulate my friend and predecessor at the Office of Management and Budget, Governor Mitch Daniels, and Lieutenant General Michael Flynn on their awards. Thank you both for your service. I hope tonight's American Liberty Dinner is a success and that the Institute continues to produce the research and ideas that will help lawmakers in Washington craft policies that strengthen our place in the world. Thank you again, and Godspeed to you and your important work.